Let's take a minute and go over chip identification. You've watched as we've increased feeds and speeds cutting on this particular aluminum and that produces a uniquely different chip each and every time we do it. In the facing operation, we produce these very thin wafer-like chips that are very stringy and very fine. This is indicative of all of your facing operations in aluminum. We've got a very small C-shaped chip here and this chip was produced with a minimal amount of cut with a very high feed rate. That chip is going and breaking off in the little C-shapes that we have here. Now on our last cut when we were pushing the machine and the cutter to the limit was producing these spring-shaped chips that you see here. The cutter is traveling at a high rate of feed. We're taking a pretty heavy cut, approximately 70 thousandths during that last pass, and we were turning the RPM up on the machine at the same time. So that'll show you the types of chips that are produced when we change the feeds and speeds when we're machining a piece of aluminum. The last chip I'd like to show you was one when we took the initial finish cut across our aluminum. We were using a round nose tool at the optimum RPM as well as feed rate and that produced this wafer thin chip that you see in my hands now. Okay, So now you've got a little better understanding of just what chip tracking or a chip identification is all about.